Thanks, Prandis. Freezing rain, sleet, and heavy snows expected to fill Chicago streets through Thursday, with some areas expected to be hit much harder than others. The National Weather Service is reporting rain turning into heavy snowfall tomorrow afternoon, which could bring two to four inches of new snow. Suburban and south side areas could receive as much as seven inches of snow. A winter storm warning will go into effect from Thursday afternoon through Thursday evening. And joining us to discuss what Chicagoans can expect tonight ahead of this winter storm is Scott Collis, an atmospheric scientist from the Argonne National Laboratory. Scott, always great to see you. So we had the 50 degrees today. We had the heavy winds. Now we're going to have the rain, then the freezing rain, and then the snow. How unusual a pattern are we looking at here? Well, this is February and getting towards late February in Chicago. This is the time of year we can see uh, much greater change. In actual fact, as we go into March and April, they're our, when we have the most warming in our local area. But you know, this is that real kind of messy situation where we have an area of high pressure to our north in Wisconsin, an area of low pressure to our south in Missouri. And between the two, we have this clash of air masses we call a cold front. This particular cold front on the southern side of it, it's too warm to snow. On the northern side, it's plenty cold enough to snow. So that's going to slide across us tonight. And this is kind of the funky thing about this two hit storm is the first slug is going to come through really at about 4 a.m. tomorrow morning after all that road road soul has been washed off the road. Mm. Perfect for the morning commute. Second slug is going to come tomorrow afternoon. Perfect for the commute home. All right, we look forward to that. So give us a sense of how dangerous you think uh, the conditions might be then, especially driving home on the commute. Yeah, so actually I'll start with tomorrow morning because as the rain transitions over to snow, and by the way, tonight's a really good night to keep an eye on that sump pump with that rain falling on that frozen ground. Um, there's going to be a really short, intense flurry of snow, really wet, heavy, nasty snow, again, around that 4 to 6 a.m. period. And again, that's going to fall on untreated roads. As the day progresses, we're going to see some gradual clearing in the northern part of Chicago, much less in the southern part of Chicago. And then we're going to get another slug of snow with a little bit of lake effect aiding as well. The heaviest snow is actually going to be to the south of the city in a line that goes from Pontiac through Valparaiso. Down in that area, they could see a total accumulation of up to eight inches. Up to eight inches. And, you know, once again, Scott, there's various different models that forecasters look at. And there's such a variance in their predictions and snowfall. So what accounts for the difference in these models? It's a great question. So a model is just a bit of computer code that takes the atmospheric state, the picture of the atmosphere from our satellites, soundings at the Department of Energy and the National Weather Service launch and radars, and tries to predict what happens at a later state. The models that the American uses uses a different set of code to say the Europeans. The further out you go, the more those little errors, both in the initial state and the differences in the code, add up. So even yesterday, just because that line that demarks rain and snow was so close to Chicago, there was a great difference between them. As that atmospheric system passed through Wyoming and Idaho and got better captured by our observational systems, that uncertainty decreased to the point this morning we could make much more accurate predictions. So wait to place your bets is what I'm hearing oh, yeah. here. <laughs> uh, and so what about the flooding tomorrow, um, you know, given given the the mess of conditions, how how severe could it be, especially near the lakefront and the river? So the lakefront actually adds an extra component because there's actually the winds are going to turn off the lake. As it cools down, we could get some sea spray that could also lead to some lakeside icing. But it's actually been a fairly cold February. We've been running around about a degree Fahrenheit below normal temperature. The ground is good and frozen. So the rain that falls isn't going to stay there. It isn't going to sink into the ground. It's going to pond, pull, move into the rivers. This could cause ice breakup and ice dams. So again, today is a really, or today and tomorrow is a really good time to keep an eye on your local area to watch out for that flooding, especially in that morning commute tomorrow morning. Oh boy, Street and Sand officials are obviously on watch right now too. Uh, so. What do you predict for the rest of the winter? I think everyone wants to know. You, February is this this just unpredictable, messy month. Uh, are, are we looking at uh, several more weeks of uh, colder than normal temperatures, snow, or a warm-up in the offing? 
So after this system comes through and we get that cold front come in, things will cool down for Friday. Things will actually warm up throughout the weekend, remaining windy but fairly sunny. As we enter next week, we're going to enter another period where the systems, weather systems are all warped and twisted. So switching between cold and warm again, mixture of rain and snow. And we are in a La Nina at the moment, and that usually means more moisture in the Chicago area. But as we enter March, we can see more of that moisture precipitate as rain rather than snow. And we just had that couple hour glimpse of a possible <laughs> spring today and quickly it's gonna go away. All right, Scott Collis, always great to see you and thank you so much. Always a pleasure, Paris.